Hello and happy Saturday. Today we're gonna to be doing the Witch's Moon for the month of October. I'm super excited for this box. This box is $55. That price includes the price of shipping. And I will leave the link for this down below. I don't know the theme for this month, but I'm excited. Maybe it's something to do with Hecate. I think it was, I think it's what my friend told me. Either way, it doesn't matter, we'll find out in a second. And I do wanna point out, I think there's some kind of a bell in here because it sounds very like, right? So maybe we're gonna get another bell, we'll see. But let's get into it. <laughs> it's still pretty early, but I was super excited. So I ran over and picked it up. Ooh, look at that. All right, we got some some flames and fuego. This is our card. I'm not sure what deck that is. Find your voice. Express yourself. Open up. Sing out. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. All right. We put this out for the artwork, which I'm sure it's gonna come. Put that there for now. Let's see what the theme is. The exclusive Call of Hecate collection it says thrumming in the healing darkness, the Call of Hecate can be heard among, amongst the jangling of her keys. Oh. She beckons us to hear her invitation. She is the keeper of keys, the anima mundi, and the guardian of inward gates. She invites us to be reborn, to reclaim our power, and to break through the binds that block our progress. We have been molding this collection for over a year and cannot wait to see these exclusive and handmade items finally reach their new home. Of the 81 Witch's Moon collections we have created in the previous years, this is one that will be sealed as among our favorites and most stunning. Oh, that's exciting. It says, join us this one season to heed the call of Hecate and awaken our wild and magical self. 81 boxes, that's crazy. It's a lot of boxes. <laughs> All right. Now let's get into the little Book of Shadow pages we have the hymn to Hecate. Hopefully you guys can see everything. I feel like it's clear, but sometimes this thing gets a little blurry, so we're going to make it better, hopefully. Let's see if that made a difference. I think so. I don't know. <laughs> and then we have the cauldron. A precious cauldron. Okay. Put those over there. And then we have our main one, which is the Hecate artwork. Very beautiful and dark. Okay. I think that's going to be good. All right. Let's get our incense out. Ooh. Everything seems to be in like a bag together, including the incense probably. Okay, so the way everything is set up is like this and like all the else. Put the box on the floor. I don't think we have incense. Oh, it's on the bottom, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I love this really big bag. Nice. Okay. And we have Sin Offering Innocence. I mean, incense. <laughs> it's cinnamon incense. There we go. Okay. So that would be a good name for something. Cinnacense, right? Ooh, it smells really pretty. Definitely has that like red hot chili pepper um cinnamon but it'll probably be a little bit more toned down once it's burned yeah it has a nice little smokiness to it okay put this here Uh, it says, as you allow the smoke from this ritual incense to waft throughout your sacred space, allow the wonderful scent of cinnamon to become an in, to become an intimidated sensory ritual. May these fragrant incense sticks open pathways to the shadow gates of Hecate's fortress. 
Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and get, I need to get into this, whatever this is. This has been calling my eye. Looks like a little baby cauldron. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, I like this a lot. Okay, so it looks like this. We have this beautiful little crescent moon. We have the wolves. It could be dogs. We have three of them. The spiral. And a flame, a key, a sword. This is like a labyrinth. Either way, this is adorable. I love that so much. That is so freaking cute. Okay, let's see what it says about that. And that is hand-casted brass Hecate's cauldron. It says, we are filled with so much joy to finally be sharing this creation with you. This exclusive brass Hecate's cauldron was meticulously designed and handcrafted for this very collection with the purpose of representing and honoring of our, representing our honoring of Hecate. Man, I cannot read today. It says, this cauldron was created to place offerings within or to fill with black sand so that you may burn. Stick incense relevant to Hecate upon your altar. We do not recommend placing charcoal discs within the cauldron as it will become very hot and hard to handle. If you so wish, this cauldron can act as a candle holder as well. As stated in the previous writings by G. Ibis, we are called to work with Hecate during this time as we resonate so deeply with her asp absolute aspects of wisdom. It is important to know that Hecate communicates and is realized in many different ways to almost everyone. As with most sacred, ancient, and magical practices, they are personal and resonate as something that has been created within ourselves. We connect to our own perceptions on this very personal and individualistic level. This is the very reason why we are so passionate about these sacred paths, as they are so deeply tailored to each person's desires, understandings, and intentions. We heed Hecate's call during these times as she is a powerful protector to those that follow the many paths of witchcraft. She guides us and portrays the deep and ancient knowledge that resides within each of us if we allow ourselves to be open and intuitive. Among the many names of Hecate, she is called and considered the guardian of the great gates, the illuminator, the queen of witches, the highest priestess, and for us, the keeper of keys. Hecate in all her forms has the ability to guide and direct spirits that wander upon the darkness of the thinning veil. There are so many stories of her ability to provide guidance by torchlight for Persephone. As she walks through the underworld, she is deeply connected with all animals, specifically black and mysterious canines that walk beside her, waiting for her call of assistance. Hecate holds the deepest and most sought after wisdom, connected to the mysteries of the underworld and is the gatekeeper of all of those that are worthy to wander within. She is commonly depicted in triple goddess form, which is a sacred symbol within our practice and provides a resemblance of the great cycle of our journey. She is often associated with the wise woman or crone, for she has such deep and magical mysteries to share with those that are considered the outcasts, the taboo, the different, and the witch. This great and wonderful goddess of the night is an honorable deity to provide offerings to or to call upon when you stand at the crossroads. Goddess of the night is an honorable deity to provide offering. I already said that. <laughs> Sorry. In this very simple terms, we all stand at the crossroads during each stage of our journey. As we will look behind us, we recognize the past, the deep and painful lessons learned, and the beauty found within them. As we look at our current situation, we resonate with the potential yearning growth and the connection with power and perseverance. We then look at the road ahead, seemingly splitting into a multitude of directions and decisions. We call upon Hecate for guidance, intuition, and favor. If our intentions are pure and worthy of recognition, Hecate may cast wisdom upon us, even assisting us in connecting us with our guides for the intervention of spirit during difficult times. This is commonly a very personal and deep traveling experience. Magic and mystery is found in our deepest realizations buried in immense and vast labyrinth found within ourselves. As stated, as above, so below, as within, so without. As you connect with these things, as they are meant for you energetically and spiritually, providing you with the most benefit during this specific time in your specific reality, you will find that every aspect of this cauldron is associated with a symbolic representation of Hecate and her beautiful magic. Included within this collection, you will a Book of Shadows artwork that provides you with more in-depth information regarding each of these symbols. As you incorporate this magical item into your workings, we urge you to travel deep within yourself to face a constant fear and to embrace the shadows within. May these changing seasons bring you the beauty of transformation and growth. Beautiful. And that says we have created only a limited number of these cauldrons. 
once these are gone, they will never be created again. How beautiful. I love that. And yeah, that is a labyrinth. Okay. I love that. That's so freaking cute. Love it. Okay. On to the next item. We have our candles. We got two of them. And they're these really cute little like wand-like ones. I love it when they include ones like this. These are probably my favorite that they do. They're just so cute. Look at that. And you get the two. And they smell nice. They smell like beeswax, but also a little something else. I'm not sure if that's sage or something. Well, we shall. I'll see. Okay. These are hand-rolled dual Hecate spiral spell candles. We have hand-rolled these dual Hecate spiral spell candles with the intention of honoring Hecate ritual, any Hecate ritual or meditation during Samhain. We recommend burning these candles at the same time as the representation of duality, past and future darkness and light. We have included the oils of Ling Ling, Patchouli and Amber into the rolling of the spell candle. We highly recommend documenting your experience within your book of shadows. Nice. Okay. Why does that look so blurry? There we go. Take a little sip of this because I need it. All right. On to the next little goodies in here. The next thing we have is a cedar sage bundle. How cute. Just put a little sniff. It smells beautiful. I love that smell. That's like the mountains are calling. <sighs> okay. Beautiful. Um, a four inch four inch sage stick as well as providing protection and expelling negative energies and vibrations cedar sage has the wonderful ability to bring grounding and earthly energies into your environment as the smoke from the sage stick travels around your home we recommend verbally reciting your intentions so that the energy that remains is charged with your authentic purpose be sure that you use a fireproof bowl filled with sand to catch any ash that may fall oh my gosh this thing doesn't want to stay focused okay next we have an offering blend for Hecate. That's what that looks like. Hmm, it's nice and fluffy, so I think that might be mugwort. Let's have a little look see inside there. This potent herbal blend has been conjured together with mugwort, wormwood, and motherwort. Place upon your altar as an offering to Hecate or to incorporate into your magical creations to bring about psychic visions, messages from spirits, or guidance from ancestors. The next thing we have here is some black sand for the cauldron. thing not want to stay focused with the love okay yeah included within this collection you will find a bag of black sand intended for you to place within your cauldron once inside you can easily place the wood end of your incense sticks firmly in the sand allowing it to burn upright hmm. okay. the next thing we have here is the Soul Guide Salt Blend. Let's see what that looks like. I did not open that right. It did not work. cornflower and lavender in there. Pretty that is. Oh, it smells nice. I think also the Lang Lang. 
<sighs> Sounds good. Put that right there. This very special blend has been has been created with the intention of opening yourself to the messages, guidance, and wisdom during the months ahead. The variety of herbs and oils used within the sacred salt were chosen for their ability to open doorways to the intuitive soul. We have enchanted the sacred salt with lavender and Lang Ling, as well as blue cornflower and lavender herbs. We have also included a special mixture of our seeker magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery in the making of the sacred salt. Okay, the next thing we have here looks like we have um, a crystal and black spotted one maybe snowflake obsidian or maybe just obsidian but it has those little sparkly bits kind of looks like a night sky hopefully it'll freaking focus <laughs> look how pretty that is I like that and it feels good. Ooh, oh, did you guys see that? Is that flash right there? Oh, that was so cool. She would come back. Come back. There it is. I was like, it can't be an illusion of faux rainbow from outside. It has to be from within. Oh, look at that. That is so freaking cool. I swear, a little a rainbow and a crystal can keep me distracted for hours look at that <laughs> okay put that right there and that is tumbled galaxy obsidian definitely has a galactic vibe a state within the entering of hecate's cave by cindy brannon black obsidian is a real powerhouse when we first enter Hecate's cave, we invoke the stone spirit as an ally for the entire journey. Carry the stone with you throughout your day to call upon Hecate's energies when you feel they are needed. Love that. Okay. Down to the last few things in this box. We have the spray, which I'm so excited about. I love their sprays. Ooh, and we have Queen of Witches or a spray. I can even see the picture. There we go. Look at it. Smell it. That smells good. Very sweet. I want to say there's like an almond oil in there or something. Mm, it's really nice. Okay, let's see what it says about that. We are thrilled to be able to introduce our Queen of the Witches ritual aura spray within the special collection and created with the intention of calling upon Hecate during ritual or throughout your day. This potent blend holds a bounty of protective and powerful energies. We have created this aura spray with the oils of patchouli, almond, myrrh, Jasmine, and a special mixture of our Hail Hecate, magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery. It smells divine. I love it. All right. Now for the last little item that's been jingling about. There's, in fact, kind of a bell and like a little scroll. How cute and witchy does this look? Love it. So pretty. And then on this one, we have this bell. Nice little bell in there. Okay. Let's see what it says about those. Hand stained Hecate's petition scroll. Hand stained, rolled, and twined. This petition scroll is created for you to write down your intentions. This could be your overall goal for the journey you intend to begin. This beautiful petition has been lovingly created for you by A.E. Aldine, exclusively to this very collection of items. Oh, how cool. So awesome. I love her art. All the stuff that she does. Um, and then the bell. If I can find it. 
Hecate's Hanging Bell. To accompany you during your Samhain rituals, we have included a pentacle bell strung on a thick piece of twine for you to hang. Before your rituals or meditations begin, ring your bell to pronounce that you have started your magical process. Also, you can use this bell as a calling forth of Hecate or specific spirits and energies to assist you during your shadow work. And then they said, as we delve into the shadow realm of the coming months, allow yourself to be open to new perspectives. It is vital that you walk through these times with an open heart and an open mind so that you may receive the messages of your ancestors and guides that are so eagerly attempting to provide you. May Hecate's torch act as a beacon of hope in the darkest crevices of your soul. As we see the world, so it is. Blessed be the witch's moon. That was beautiful. Loved it. Um, if you guys want to pause to read everything, I will put that page right there. And of course, that one right there. Beautiful. If I had to pick a favorite item, ooh, I would say it's probably going to have to be the cauldron. But that little... A little crystal with its magical little rainbow flash it just has my heart I don't know if I can find it again one final time but this is just beautiful and I love how it looks like oh there it is <laughs> how it looks like it has like stars and just it's so magical I, I'm obsessed with it oh my god <laughs> okay so these two are my favorites a beautiful box overall let me know down below what you guys thought and what your favorite item was and yeah happy freaking october man